Hey guys, today I'm playing some Caesar 3, a rather old game as you can probably tell by the janky resolution right now. That actually will get better when we get into the game, I'm just using a mod that upscales the resolution because it's so old it doesn't do above like 640 or something. So uh, that'll, that'll, it'll stop being this tiny little box in a second. But yes, Caesar 3, what is this? Well, it is one of my favorite games from my childhood and if I had to explain it to you quickly, it would be like an old city skylines in Rome, ancient Rome, and there's a bit of war as well, because it's Rome. So yeah, I think it's best described if I just get right into it, rather than uh, talking about it. So yeah, basically two options. Start a career, which is where you start really basic, and you learn how to play the game, and you progress up getting kind of, sort of more, sort of higher in your rank, and you can do more things, or the city construction kit. That's just sandbox, and that's what I'm going to do today, because then I can kind of show you everything. So we press this and the resolution gets a little better, and uh, we get to pick ourselves a map. Um, you can see here we've got Caesarea, Caesarea, Some Caesar, Caesarea. It's oh, it's a Caesarea. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, yeah, and you, it tells you it's AD 50. Um, it's a desert province. It's an enormous province, no military activity, and it's a trivial, trivial assignment. So I want to play quite a big province, and I want a little bit of military activity, just so I can kind of show off the features of the game. So we've got Carthago, um, city is besieged, that sounds a bit much. I'm not that great, I haven't played this in a while, it was something I played when I was probably like 10 or something. Um, so we've got a central province, small province, many here. Some military activity, very large. Desert province, though. I had problems with that. It just constant fires. So we're going to try not to go to the desert either. Um, Northern province city is besieged. Uh, many invasions likely. Some military activity. Average province. This could be good. Um, maybe. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go for Tolotum. It seems like the best one to show all the features and not lose instantly. Um, so yeah, it's a central province, large province, many invasions likely, and it's a hard assignment. The governor will face various threats and hazards. The Iberians will not uh, be will not be the least of them. Uh, they are not resigned to give up Hispania. Liberia, obviously, Spain and Portugal. Let's just start the map and we can get a look. So I'm going to pause real quick. And, uh, ooh, the controls are old. Right, yeah, obviously it's a very old game. You can see by the graphics um, and the fact that I have to use a mod to get it to even look even a bit good. Um, ooh, I pressed a button. What the dicks? Is this our enemies? I've never seen this before. Anyway, so yes, this is our map. Um, this is our road, which is what you start with. And uh, we want to build ourselves a starting point. It works quite a lot like City Skylines. You put down places for houses and people move in and they upgrade by themselves. So, we want some farmland, which is this uh, yellow grass. So over here would be really good and defensible because it looks like our enemies may well be right here. Native Meeting Hub. This crude hall is the focal point for the locals. Yeah, but it might mean I can just kill them, which would be great. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking... <laughs> this is going to be super hard. <laughs> I'm going to fail so quickly. I'm thinking over here. Super defensible. We just have to defend bridges and maybe build some towers. Um, so yeah, and there's a ton of farmland. Uh, this probably would be a bad idea. So yes, I'm going to go over here. So we're going to need ourselves a road and we're going to need ourselves a bridge. So uh, bridge is over here. You can see this is our menu, all of our building stuff. So if I select... Here, I guess, in the engineering type place, we can get ourselves a low bridge to start with. We only start with 7,500 denarii, which is the currency, and uh, yeah. So we can build ourselves, yeah, just a bridge like that. Do I have to drag it? How do I? Oh, I, I've got to unpause the game to build stuff. So I'll do that, and then put in a road, like that, and then bring this across. We're going to need a, ooh, yeah, you have to clear all of the, uh... <laughs> all of the like trees that does not happen automatically and it is quite annoying uh, but again it's an old game um, so yeah and then we're gonna put in a, another low bridge like so uh, don't know why I'm doing this with my voice thought it would be kind of funny not really all right so right um, we've got tons of farmland so we can build houses in the farmland but yeah for now I'm just gonna bring a road down here some more and I'm going to start putting in houses over here. Um, right, if I get rid of... Uh, oops, shit, if I get rid of all this, all of these trees. We don't need trees here. Um, and then... Yeah, so, right. So we're going to put in some houses. I'm thinking we put the houses starting over here because we need a reservoir somewhere for water, so I'll put that over there. Right, okay. So, houses. We'll just put in a few like this. And hopefully people will move to our town. 
and then we're going to need... Um, so yes, you can see now people have started walking in. These are civilians. They will come in and move in and do things. Um, they're going to need some water, so I'm going to get them a reservoir. Uh, the reservoir connects to fountains. Hopefully I placed that well. I did not. That was the worst placement. How much is a reservoir? A bit. It is some money. But if I put that there, and I can put a fountain here. Um, yeah, there we go. And now they'll have water. And when the area around houses gets better, the houses get better. So they start off as small tents. And now you can see these ones have become large tents. And eventually they become like cars, cars and shit. And all that kind of villa, villas and shit. So yeah. Uh, so you actually have two options for water. Wells and fountains. But fountains people prefer and it makes their houses nicer. Right, so the next thing we need to do before we forget is put in a prefecture. This is the police and firefighters all in one. Um, and we need to... Oh, you can't play stuff while you pause the game. Uh, you shouldn't pause the game so much in this. And we're going to need an engineer's post. So this stops people from... Uh, stops buildings from falling down. I'm going to pause while I explain now, just because... Yeah, so uh, this recruits people for stopping uh, buildings falling down, and this re recruits this guy, who is a prefect. He stops crime and fire. So yeah, alright. Next, we're going to need some food. So we're going to build ourselves a farm. We've got wheat and vegetables, so it's not super ideal, but okay. Um, so we'll get some get some wheat. So we're going to start getting some wheat from there. Um, and these little guys walking around, these civilian looking guys, they're just looking for people to start jobs. Um, and once they find people, the farms will start working. Now you can see we've got six workers, and now we also need a granary to store the food. Um, so then the food goes there. And then we need a market to distribute the food. And now we're probably going to need a few more people because we've got quite a lot of jobs about. Um, people are getting a little little grump. Their houses are getting a little better, but not super good. I think they need food to do that. Um, so yeah, this is the start. We've got people moving in, houses getting better, jobs getting done, food getting made. And yes, so you can kind of probably start to see why I say this is a bit like City Skylines in Ancient Rome. And it is fantastic. There's a lot of things you have to take care of in this game. And the way you find out about what you need to take care of is you visit your advisors. So, um... We have a bunch of advisors. This is the chief advisor. He tells me everything. We've got unemployment of 13%. We've lost a bunch of money. There's not enough houses. We have no food. Everything's fucked. Um, but yeah, you can get more specific things. You've got labor allocation. People who tell people who to do... You know what labor allocation is. But yeah, that you can you can change wages and shit. So yeah. Um, then military advisor, if we had a military, which we don't right now. Imperial advisor, he just tells me my standing with Caesar. Because obviously you're working for Caesar. You are a governor of Caesar. Um, until you become Caesar. Um, but yeah, that doesn't really matter now because we're not playing uh, career mode. Um, so it's, yeah. Then we've got ratings, trade advisor when we start trading. We've got population history, uh, health advisor, yeah, education advisor, um, entertainment advisor, and the gods. This is very important. You have to please the gods. In this game, the gods, all five of the gods are real and they have very real effects. If you piss off Ceres, the god of farming, they will, she will fuck up your farms. If you piss off Neptune, or don't please him enough, he will fuck up ships coming at you. Mars, he's the god of war, so you gotta keep them fucking happy. And then you get your monetary advisor, your finances. So, we're gonna start pleasing the gods a little bit, because we don't want to be smited. Smitten? Smit? No, smitten something else. That's like, when you're like all happy in a new relationship. Which, which I am with Caesar 3, although it's an old relationship. I, I, I... This was most of my childhood. <laughs> I want to do, um, at some point, do as an, like a nostalgia week or series where I play games from my childhood. Because, like, there's a lot of games I played, like most people, like Grand Theft Auto, but I, I played a lot of weird games. I don't know how popular this is. This just came out on Steam, by the way, which is why I'm playing it. You can get it for some money, and it is worth it if you... I don't know if it holds up for other people. It so does for me, though. There's a few things that are janky as shit, but, um... But yeah, mostly it's pretty good. So what I'm doing here is just putting in a bunch of temples because you want to keep the gods happy. Um, I don't really have a ton of space for all these temples. I'll try and finagle them around a bit. If I put this right there, it needs road access, obviously. Um, so that's three temples. We need one of each right now just to keep people relatively... Oh shit, there's a fire. Man, man with water, go and deal with it. Go and deal with- you, fuckface! Okay, you can see he's bringing water to this now. Alright, so what's- there's a lot of stuff happening right now. There's a fire, this guy's dealing with it. Um, we probably need another prefecture. Yeah. Um, 
And you can see this little bit of road's gotten nicer. As you get nicer things like temples around, your city improves, and um, the roads get better. Like, uh, the roads get better, the surrounds get better, and when it's really good, people's houses start getting better. You can see we now have small shacks. People aren't living in tents anymore, they're living in shacks. So yeah, it looks like this guy's putting out the fire alright, uh, which is good. We're going to want to get rid of that debris and put in another house. Uh, we're also going to put in a bunch more houses, because we probably need some more people. Um, oh no, we have unemployment of 30%. Okay, we really don't need more people. Um, I'm going to neuter that then because we really don't need it. And I'm going to complete my temple project. Um, these are a bit bunched up. I might actually just put one sort of over here for, for, I don't know, just for when we expand over here, we're going to need stuff. So yeah, now we've got all the five temples. When they get workers, gods will be relatively happy. These are now large shacks. These are still tents for some reason. They're not very desirable. What we can do is we can increase the desirability of the uh, desirability of the area by putting in some gardens. So we put in some gardens back here. And the houses get better. Same back here. We can't really put anything back there, so... Yeah, and now we actually have hovels. People are living in hovels. And yeah, it goes like this, basically. You can see what I mean now. Um, right, yeah, that's the first shit done. So, now we got to take stock. What do we got around? What can we... Can we mine stuff? Can we... Can we mine stuff? Shit, we need to get metal for war, so hopefully. Um, so we go to our kind of making stuff tab over here. We go for raw materials, we can get clay, iron, and timber. That is great. Those are all the things we need. We won't have to import any raw materials. But, uh, yeah. So, not a ton of places around where we can actually get iron, which isn't great. Um, it seems like our enemies over here might have a monopoly on iron. Hmm, actually, I don't know. Are you motherfuckers our enemies? I think they are. I think they're Spanish people. Where are we in the world? Yeah, we're in Spain. Okay, right. We've got a... We got a Spain problem. <laughs> we got to get ourselves that bit of Gibraltar. Um, not that that's what the Romans did. But where could I put this? So you can't just put an iron mine everywhere. It has to be near like rocks and shit. So I could put it near the rocks over here. I don't think there's anything right next to me where I can get iron from. So this is a bit problematic. Um, I might have to have like a well defended iron mine. Um, but we don't actually need to be producing weapons to produce soldiers, weirdly enough. To produce really good soldiers, you do need weapons. But to produce just normal soldiers, I guess they find them themselves. Maybe they're just wooden weapons. Um, what's your problem? You don't have food? Yeah, not enough food. Okay. Well, they're bringing food. We're working on it. We're we producing enough food. Okay, I need to... A lot goes on at the start of this game, and it gets, a, you know, a bit difficult. Our food levels are low. We produce more than we eat, so it should bounce out at some point. The city is getting nicer. Alright, so, um, the other thing we're going to want to do is start making some stuff. We can get clay, I believe, which means we can make um, uh, pottery, which we can sell to people. And hopefully there will be some people around who will buy pottery. So the best things to do, um, so you can see there's all of the cities, the one with red flags we can trade with. It looks like all of these will be land routes, which is good, because then we don't have to build ships. Um, and these people buy pottery and sell olives, that's good, make some oil. These people buy weapons, these people buy furniture. Alright, so I'm going to start by opening up this trade route for 400 denarii. We're going to need to do that. Um, and now we're going to need to start producing some pottery. So we're going to get our raw materials, our clay pit. Um, where about should I put this? I don't really want to put it in the housing area. Hmm, right. So I could put it over here. I could make this an industrial zone, but I, this doesn't kind of need... We've got a lot of farmland, so I think we're okay there. Um, I don't need to be too stingy with it. Um, I don't really want to put it outside the bridge because I want to be defending. I want this to be like a military area. So, yeah, I'm going to put in another road and another bridge. Um, like, how can I... Can I? Oh, fucking paused game, man. Um, oh, there are not enough people working at our granary. But don't we have loads of unemployment? Then go fucking work at the granary. <laughs> oh, God. Go, we need this, otherwise people will starve. Which is happening now, that all the houses are downgrading. Please go and work there. Please, please go and work at the granary. Do you hate food? Do you not want food? It sounds like you don't want food, so maybe you won't get any food, motherfuckers. Alright, let's get ourselves another bridge. Um, that's so jank, but alright. Um, that could just be a board. Oh, there we go, people are working at the granary again. Thank Christ. My god, and they're bringing food. We're okay. It was a minor crisis. Averted. It's averted. Alright, so over here we're going to have a bit of clay industry. 
Um, hmm, you know what? It's going to be pretty far from people. Um, so I'm going to put in another low bridge. This is costing quite a lot of money, but I want to get this right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put in that bridge. I don't think a bridge negatively affects the area. Because, um, like, having a granary nearby or something like something industrial, like, makes the area much less desirable because people don't want to live next to shitty industry. Um, which I guess is fair, you know. Um, anyway. So, ooh, everywhere's downgrading. Shit. I guess we don't have enough food because no one's working at the fucking granary again! Jesus Christ. This is no, this is no good. This is bad stuff. Okay, my layout on my city is a bit shit, but we're okay. Um... Could you please go and work at the fucking granary? I'm gonna put a road up right up here so that people will hopefully get to the granary and will also be able to get to other jobs. Um, right. So, I'm going to put my clay pit over here if people will go and fucking work there. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm stressing out a little bit, you know? Okay, people will work at the granary again. Jesus Christ. This could be a problem, but we'll just build more houses. Everything will be fine. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put our clay pit here. Um, I'm not organizing this city perfectly well, well, very well at all, but, you know, it should be okay. Um, and then we're going to need a warehouse to store the clay. Um, so where can we put a warehouse? That can be pretty much anywhere. It's where we store things, it's where people come in to buy stuff. So I'm actually going to put the warehouse over here, and I'm going to put a workshop for pottery just right here, just all together. And I'm going to put some more houses... Ooh. We've got a lot of unemployment, but you know what? I'm going to just get rid of these houses for now. And I'm going to put in some houses here. Because then we'll have people closer to the work. And that's what we really need more than anything else. So yeah, um, I'm also going to just get rid of a bunch of these tents for now. Because they're just bringing the city down. What's your problem? Doesn't have water. Shit. Yeah, I forgot water was a thing. Alright, so these people have just moved house. Um, can I put in a fountain? Am I close enough to the... Uh, reservoir? I am. Nice. Um, I'm also going to need another fountain over here. Okay. Uh, so everyone's got water now. Everything is good. People are working everywhere. And uh, yeah, I've got to start telling my trade advisor to sell pottery. So I'm trading it. I'm exporting goods when I have more than one unit, which will mean I'll keep one unit in reserve for myself, which is good because that upgrades houses. When people have access to pottery and various other things like furniture and wine, their houses get better. Um, so yeah, right. Shit's looking good. Uh, we're gonna start making some money, hopefully. Um, in fact, I could definitely get myself just, like, two, um, pottery workshops. Two pottery barns. Uh, workshop. Pottery. Perfect. Okay, and, uh, I'm gonna give these people a little bit of garden to make their lives nicer and their houses better. Um, they'll need food, but hopefully the market will be able to sustain everybody else, otherwise they'll have to build another one. How are the gods? All delighted. I'm going to keep on top of that, though. The other way you please gods is holding festivals. And I'm going to hold a small festival for um, Ceres. So, yeah. Right, now we need some entertainment and some military. I'm going to start with entertainment because I'm a fool. Actually, I could really quickly make military. Entertainment takes a slight bit longer. So, uh, military. Um, so, the first thing we really want is some, some guys. So, we want a fort. Uh, of legionnaires, so we can have legionnaires, auxiliary javelins, and auxiliaries mounted. Um, so, legionnaires, uh, they require... I think you have to build weapons, so we're not going to do that right now, but uh, we'll build ourselves a fort over here. We are a touch low on money now, so it would be good if we started trading sharpish. Um, oh fuck, I fucked up. I accidentally deleted some road. Can I un... No. Okay, well, I'll just put the road in again. There we go. Okay. I just want to delete all these plants um, so I can put a fort over here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to put our fort over here because we know our, where our enemies are. And we're going to go for just normal guys, just uh, auxiliary javelins. Not on horses, not very well trained. Um, so, you can see they're starting up. Okay. Um, so, we need a ba now we need a barracks, um, which can be close to the people. You don't want your fort close to the people. They get all freaked out and shit. Uh, but I think you can put a barracks next to people, and they're not too mad about it. So I might put this not on the... Hmm. I might just put it here, actually. I, mean, I, I see no reason why not. Actually, that would be a good place for a wall. And I do need it close to people so that people will work in it. 
Um, ooh! Oh good, the small festival went well. Right, so... I don't really want it there. Well, you know what, I'm going to expand this down. I'm being a little frivolous with money right now. But, um... I think it's okay. I think we're going to be okay. Um, but for now, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to put the barracks in the industry zone. Just because... It's okay. Some soldiers will need supplied weapons. Yeah, some will, but... Okay, so that'll just start training soldiers, which is good, because we may well need them to defend against these Spanish people. Um, <laughs> Alright, how are we going on employment? 23% uh, unemployment. Right, so, I'm hoping some people are going to trade at some point. Did you guys buy anything? Nothing to trade here, just passing through. Okay, well, at some point they'll start buying my shit, so that's good. Okay, so what else do we need? A bit of entertainment will be good, but we're okay for making houses better right now, so everything's alright. Are you heading to the warehouse? Nothing to trade here. Okay. You know, I, I do quite desperately need money, so just sell everything. Uh, so just don't store any for us. Right now. Because I am desperately low on money. I'm also not doing taxes right now. So there's various ways of uh, getting taxes. The Senate is the big one. Oh shit. Oh fuck. A temple fell down. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Um, so it looks like the Temple of Mercury fell down and a house fell down. So we're going to get rid of all of this. Get rid of that house because I don't actually want it there. And we're going to reconstruct that Temple of Mercury. Um, small Temple. Mercury. Oh good. People are heading to the warehouse to buy stuff. Thank Christ. And we're also going to put in another engineer's post to stop that happening again and another prefecture because we need to stop fires. Okay, so you can actually start to see our first soldier's been trained and he's heading over here to go and fight. We need a full legion really if we're going to defend against anything. So, we just sold some pottery to these guys, three pottery, and we've got a little more money. So we should be okay now, actually, from now on. Is everyone, there's enough workers and everything? There's enough workers in the barracks? Yeah. Okay, we've got another legionnaire heading out. That'll, they'll take a little while to get there, but it doesn't really matter. Um, unless there was an invasion right now, but <laughs> we should be good. Okay, we got our legionnaires, we got our trade going, shit is looking good. Um, unemployment still fine, 3%, okay, we should probably bring in some more people then. Um, so we're going to build some more houses over here. What's your problem? Doesn't have any food. Alright, okay. Right, we'll put in a market. Yeah, I guess a market here would be fine. Also provide a few jobs. Um, so yeah, more people moving to the city. But yeah, okay, it's going well. Oh uh, yeah, like I was, like I was saying, I, I so love playing games from my childhood. And ooh, hey, Ceres, charmed by uh, our commitment to her, has uh, provided more food. So she just basically grows all of your farms instantly. Um, how are we doing for food? We produce just enough to feed everyone. So we should make another farm. We're just gonna go wheat again. Um, all is good. Uh, I was just gonna do something. Oh yeah, check on the gods. How y'all doing? Um, Ceres is, is exalted, everyone else is just charmed, so we're gonna have another, a small festival for Neptune, and uh, just keep them all, keep them all happy, keep them all helping us, because when you do, uh, they don't just smite you if you don't do stuff, they give you things, you get free stuff, basically. Free food sometimes, sometimes they'll fill up your farms, sometimes they'll fill up the granaries, sometimes they'll make trade more profitable, um, sometimes they'll just kill your enemies in war, like, it's great. Um, <laughs> so yeah. All right, we do need to start collecting tax now, though. Uh, it's quite important that we start getting some tax. So I could do that with a senate or a forum. A senate's more... You need a senate really before a forum, I believe. So, yeah, we're gonna... I could put it over here, but I... I don't really want it in the industrial zone. It's a little bit cramped up in this, up in here. But, um... Would it fit? Mm, not really. I don't really need to fit this on the main island right now. It is a bit big. You know what? We're going to hold off on a Senate because it is quite expensive. Um, yay! Everyone's happy at the small festival. And uh, instead of a Senate, which is going to be a forum, um, they collect tax, but they don't perform all the other functions of the Senate, which I'm sure there are some, which I can't remember. Anyway, ooh, they just got brought food. All is good. Um, the nice thing about all these little people walking around is they actually do perform functions. Like, Recruiters do actually look for when they pass houses with three people in them. That's how they actually find employees. It's quite cool. Uh, did you, you guys, you motherfuckers, buy anything? You bought a little bit of pottery. All right, all right, all right. Um, there's a little more pottery there. Buy that up. So now we need some entertainment. Happy at your increased uh, interest in Neptune grants all your traders smooth passage for the rest of the year. They will pay double during this time. Now we get more money. That is why you please the gods so that you get money. Um, <laughs> all right. 
So now we need a little bit of entertainment. I'm going to get myself a theatre. And you need more than just a theatre. You need an actor's colony to train the actors. Um, I like this game. It's quite well thought out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Like, you never just build one thing. You never just build a fort or a barracks. You have to build a fort and a barracks. You never just build a theatre. You need someone to train them and everything else. And now these houses are getting even nicer. Large hovels. Madness. Yeah, look at that. Not just small hovels anymore. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Alright. Um, so I think these aren't upgrading because some of the smaller houses haven't upgraded. What are you... What are the small hovels? I need some better stuff. Well, you have gardens, but you can also improve the roads with plaza, which makes them more desirable. So if I do this... Nicer roads. Shit. Um, that should improve everyone's standing. Ooh, why does that keep happening? Oh, he's gonna be so mad. That was Mercury's temple, right? Is he getting mad at me? No, he's okay. He understands that fire happens. It was probably Mars' fault. Okay, what's your problem? Doesn't have any educational facilities. Alright. How are we doing work-wise? Sure, an employee. We're getting a few more employees. But we could definitely use um, some... We could definitely use some some more employees, more houses. Um, these guys still aren't upgrading. I guess they just don't have any food yet. Do you have workers? Yeah, what's your fucking problem? Protester? Fuck you! Down with the governor. Kill him! Get a guard and stab him in the fucking head! Put your little gladius... Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> There's a criminal to kill or whatever. <laughs> Alright. What's your fucking problem? You have food. Dick. Are we producing enough food? Okay, well, we will be, at some point. <laughs> you keep saying we're gonna be producing enough food, but you n it never happens! <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I did not put in any hospitals, so people are dying. <laughs> not great. We need to get ourselves a doctor. Um, I'll put him... He's best connected if he's here, actually. Um, okay, can't... So, yeah, we need that. Need a doctor. Um... I totally forgot about people dying from disease. There's a lot of stuff you got to do in this. <laughs> Alright, someone go and deal with the dead people. I don't know how you do that. But also find a trained doctor in this town. Um, our legion's almost full. That's quite nice. Um, once that's done, I will raise some money and get some horse soldiers. How are we doing? We're short 14 employees now. We are going to need some more houses. Okay, let's dot them around. Put a couple here, maybe. Um... Shit. I don't know how long it takes for those houses not to be dead people anymore, but, you know. <laughs> Whatever. We're cool. It's a Oh, this is finally upgraded. They finally got food. Uh, you need to improve the desirability. You need to improve the desirability, you fucking asshole. Um, <laughs> calm down. It's alright. It's okay, Peter. <laughs> you guys attacking yet? Maybe we... Can, we... can I just go and murder them? Maybe. Maybe I can. Maybe I should just murder them. Um, but usually there's an attack. Often it comes from outside of the city, um, but I guess not here. Apparently these guys live here to kill me. Yeah. We're doing alright money-wise. Um, we might want to open another trade route and start selling furniture or something. I shouldn't have destroyed all of the trees, really. Uh, <laughs> that's how you get wood. Um, I'm not going to start making weapons yet. That's quite an undertaking. Okay. Alright. Put in some small tents. Um, so I can actually upgrade these houses again to castles which look more like houses if I just put in a little bit of education. If I just put in a school, say. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I, I guess I could put it here. Everything's quite bunched up on this island. Um, but yeah, I think we're good for now. Uh, these people, I guess, don't have any water. So I'll put in a fountain and all will be good. Must build on cleared land. I thought it was. Okay. Well, you lied to me. Um, yeah, look at that. They, they've got a school now, and now they're small castles. Um, they need a bathhouse. I'm not going to go too crazy upgrading them right now. I think we've got enough people. Um, what we really need is to start making money. Um, so, we're making a little money. Not enough money. Um, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up the... I won't open up the trade route yet. I'm going to start the industry first. Um, we're going to go cut some trees on this island. Um, so, if we put in a bridge. Right, nowhere's really bridgeable to this island. I guess we could do it here. Yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, and then yeah, so we need to start cutting down trees. So we're going to 
cut these back a little bit so I can put in a um, timber yard. Uh, I'll just put it there, they'll be able to cut trees down and shit, all will be good. And uh, they'll start bringing it to the warehouse if they can get any employees, which is a little doubtful at this point, because um, they're quite far away. But we'll see. Um, if I need to, I'll put some people closer. Uh, yeah, alright. I should probably build a wall just around here to keep the enemies out. This is so defensible, I'm quite glad about it. I'll just live on the islands, and these fox can live over here. And at some point, I should probably go and murder them. <laughs> I've been recording for quite a while. I have been showing off most of the stuff. I've just realized I have been forgetting about the gods. Everyone's still happy, but we want to keep everyone happy. So, Mercury, have a small festival, buddy. Keep it real, bro. Uh, local granaries getting you down, eh, bud? Okay, well, we'll put in a few more gardens. See if that helps. I don't really want to plaza this, because it's industrial zone. I know you can, you can just plaza everything, but... I don't know, I like a little bit of realism in my cities. Anyone working there yet? No, not really close enough. Mm-hmm. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> uh, we presume enough food? You know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put in another wheat farm. You know, everything's good. Yeah, okay. Still no one working there. Probably I'm gonna bring in some more people. Okay. We'll put in some houses just down here. In the industrial zone, if I just extend this road down a bit. Um, I'll need a reservoir. I'll put a reservoir there. We're okay, so we'll put in a few houses here. Um, not for now, actually, I'm just going to give them a well. Because they don't really need to be like really nice houses. Like, there's no point. This was mostly just to show how nice the houses get. They get really cool, they get like massive. Um, they need a bathhouse, though, to like upgrade. I don't know where I put it. Maybe up here? We need people. Nah, we've got unemployment. Um, ooh, how are we doing tax-wise? Are we taxing enough people? 95% of the population is registered for tax. Okay! And we made money this year. Shit, only 97. Well, last year even. But yeah. Okay, so if some people move in here, which they probably will, they'll also need a market to get their food. So I'll put that on the main road. Um, I think it's everything they need, probably. Just to make shitty basic houses. You got a problem? Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, I'll put in some gardens. Oh no, they're upgrading by themselves. They're good. They're good. They won't upgrade that far with just a well, but yeah. Hey, 500 citizens! Shit, dog. Nice. Okay, so we got a few guys there. They'll start cutting wood. Shit's good. And uh, now, delighted by your devotion to him, Mercury has uncovered hidden product in the granary. Fuck yeah, look at that. Our granary's full. Look at that shit. That's that's a worker at work in Mercury. Best god. But fucking, fucking best god, man, you know? I love my god, bro. Um, alright, alright, cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mercury. <laughs> it's his temple that keeps collapsing. Um, you know what, I'm... And burning down. That's a bad omen. <laughs> right, who's pissed off right now? Uh, have a temple for Mars? Yeah, let's keep the war god happy. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, we're slowly losing money, so I do want to start selling uh, furniture quite soon. Uh, so let's put another road here and uh, get some people making furniture. So workshop, furniture. We'll get a, a couple of these. I have a timber yard, you fuck. It's just not working often. It's very infrequently. Uh, oh, right, so they're not desirable. Have some gardens then, I guess. Get your houses nicer. You don't have food yet, because reasons. But Okay, right. So, these people are going to buy that pottery. We'll keep us alive, but we're definitely going to need to start uh, selling timber. Uh, or selling uh, furniture, so we need to open that trade route, actually. Who buys furniture? These motherfuckers. What do they sell? Fruit. Nice. Nice. Right. Yeah, let's open that. 600. A bit much, but alright. Uh, furniture. Let's, yeah, just export all of it for now. We don't need it to upgrade houses right now, so we're okay. Oh, ooh, small festival. Nice, everyone's happy. Nothing for you to buy, motherfucker, but alright. Okay, our first bit of wood, we'll turn that into furniture. Shit will be good. I'm quite happy with how the city's going. I want an attack to happen. I have been going for almost 40 minutes, but I love this game, so it's fine. I want someone to attack, though, so it would be good to... Although I only have one legion right now, so maybe I don't really want that. Uh, nothing to trade. Yeah, often when you start a trade route, they'll just... 
the first few times your the traders will come through, they'll just walk past, you know, get a feel for it. Uh, but yeah, um, I need about, I think I need a thousand for a new fort. Yeah, so I'm not going to make any more soldiers right now, we just have those guys. Um, not ideal, but you know, it'll just have to do for now, I guess. Um, okay, there's actually food in the granary. It really happens. Alright, you guys, you're not, you don't have any f wood, you are starting to make furniture, that's good. I think, for, what's the pricing on furniture? Oh, I can find out from one of my advisors, I think. Um, what's the... Oh, there is a way of doing this. There is there is definitely a way of finding out the prices of things. Population, health, education... You'd expect it to be... Show prices! Alright, so buyers pay 180 for each piece of pottery and 200 for each piece of... Uh, for each piece of um, furniture, so that's good. Weaponry would be very profitable and useful because we could make legionnaires. So yeah, okay. All right, all right, cool. But for now, we're we're all right. We're all right. These guys, these guys will be fine. Oh, don't walk there. Just go back to your fort. <laughs> what are the main complaints in the city? What do you think, lady? This must be the most boring city in the empire. You fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, when you click, when you right click on people. Um, I work hard, I like to play hard, but I can't here. There's just nothing to do. Now, there actually is a setting that they'll actually say it. There are voice actors for all of them. But the Steam version is a little buggy, so be a little careful. Like, if you right-click on someone, sometimes they'll just say their line forever. Like, the audio doesn't really work. Obviously, there's resolution problems and everything else. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, largely, it's fine. It's just a bit buggy, like old games are. Nothing to just trade here. Motherfucker. You buy my furniture, bitch. We've almost, actually, we haven't made any yet, but we will. We're gonna make that furniture, man. That guy's almost made his. Um, Please buy your devotion to him. Mars sends a spirit to watch over the city. Well, that's nice. It's good that Mars is happy. We want him to be happy. You gonna buy some furniture, dick? Someone's gotta buy some stuff. We're running out of money. I don't think we're taxing people enough. What are the, well, how much are we paying people? How much is Rome paying people? Oh, I have, I have 1,200 things in the bank. I forgot about that. Um, but how much is Rome paying? Same as us. Oh, yeah, so what's happened here is as the governor, I have a salary. And with that salary, I can do what I want. Um, so I can send a gift to Caesar to please him. No point in sandbox, don't bother with that. Or I can give it back to the city. So I have 1,200 because my salary is 30 denarii per month because I'm a reasonably high-ranked official. <laughs> so we're going to give that back to the city. Uh, I want to give all of it, because I don't need it. And, uh, yeah, now we have more money. Oh, thank God, we're alright, we're okay. I was wondering where all the fucking money was going. <laughs> turns out I ca <laughs> turns out I had it. Um, right, so now I am actually going to build a, another fort for uh, mounted auxiliaries. The mood in the city is getting under uglier, and one of your tax collectors was robbed of the city, of city funds. Take steps to improve your people's mood before matters get worse. Bloody Christ, man! He was robbed? Kill that! Find that man and hang him! Did you just buy furniture? No. But we've got money? Where did, who bought? Someone buy some? What did you buy? Nothing. Alright. Um, so we need to make people happier. You know what to make you, you happier? You want you want a little something to do? You could go to the amphitheater. Fuck yeah, bro. That's Roman as shit, dog. Alright. It's not a ton of space. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Uh, yeah, there's nowhere to really put shit, you know. <laughs> um, I guess I could put it like here, but this is very industrial. Rome increases the price of one of its goods. You can trade importing this good, and it's now more. Cl oh, cool! They've increased the price of pottery. That's good for me. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna put an amphitheater like here. And I need a gladiator school, but who the fuck are you? Oh, right, shit, I was wondering who that guy was. That's uh, one of our mounted auxiliaries. So yes, now we have an amphitheater. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut off the farm bit here and turn this into more city, because we're running out of city space over here. Um, so I can't really like, put in amphitheaters and shit. So uh, yeah, hopefully that'll go nicely. I, I want to zone my city well, but it's sort of falling apart a bit, because I didn't really plan it that well. 
Um, but yeah, we're also going to need, uh, obviously, the gladiator school to train gladiators for our amphitheater. But when people start working there, um, hopefully that'll improve people's moods and no one will keep robbing my tax people because I need that money, you know? I gotta, I gotta get paid, bro. Alright, you gonna buy anything? They haven't bought furniture yet. Ooh, they bought two of my furniture! Glorious! Alright. Hopefully this will improve people's mood. Um, I am gonna... How are we doing employment-wise? Has quite high unemployment. Okay, we need more jobs. Well, then go fucking work at the amphitheater! God damn, dude! Um... Okay. Gods happy? Always check on the gods. Never forget the gods. Um, more libraries. Okay. People say they're okay for entertainment, so why are you fucking complaining all the time? <laughs> okay. Let's have a festival for Venus. Small festival. Fuck yeah. You okay? What, 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 what are you people thinking? Buddy. How have you seen how high the unemployment is here? I have, I'm working on it, but no one's working at my fucking amphitheater! <laughs> Go work at it, dick! Why? There's houses everywhere, why aren't people working at it? There's unemployment, there's a job! You're just not trying hard enough, you're not living the Roman dream hard enough. It's all your fault. <laughs> fucking assholes. Um, are we meeting our proper... Our Oh, wow, they buy a shit ton of stuff. We could be producing a lot more. Yeah, we could definitely produce more stuff. Um, that are, yeah. Oh, good, people are working at the amphitheater now. Yeah, fun city now, huh? What do you think, actor? I work as hard as I can, but there's still not enough entertainment. I just built you an amphitheater! Stop complaining! Um, people need better access to religion. Do you not have any god? Small shack. What's your problem? No religious facilities. Alright, alright, alright. I hear you. I'm gonna build you another temple then. Gonna get yourself a temple to Ceres, bro! Gonna think about the god of farming, yo! Right next to your house! Go and love god and shit. Gods. We have multiple gods. Don't love one god more than the other. You ever gonna attack, guys? I might just go and murder them. Like, if there's gonna be no violence in this, in this video, then what the fuck's the point? Uh, good, the small festival went well. Nice. Notice this is in a very weird aspect ratio as well. It's like square. Oh, fucking hell. That temple collapsed again. <laughs> Sorry, Mercury. Anyway. Employment okay? 15%? Alright, okay, it's going down. It's going down, we're good. I could just make more pottery. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to do, wasn't it? Before I got distracted by just saying things. Um, so yeah, we got another clay pit in here. Start producing more pottery. Uh, raw materials, clay pit, boom. Uh, workshop. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a couple more pottery workshops. Get those exports up. Get that unemployment down. You happy with entertainment yet? Yeah, you don't have fucking chance to get entertained. You can go to the theater, you can go to the amphitheater, you can fucking look at the fort or whatever. Don't tell me it's not entertaining here. It's fucking great, fuck you. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put in the bathhouse now. Right here. Which, uh, basically, you know, just makes people's houses get nicer, which is what we want. But I wanna see, we wanna see what happens after small cancer. Spoilers, it's medium cancer. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's, is it a cancer? Mi cancer su cancer, yeah. <laughs> that might be an Americanism. It might be Casa or something. Um, nah, 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 nah. Oh, we kind of need another granary, really. But we're okay for food. What are you buying? Pottery? We're gonna have a shit ton of that soon, buddy. We're gonna have four factories cranking that shit out. It's gonna be great. Hey, look! Um, small insulae. Oh, I guess it went straight past uh, medium casa to insulae, which is, I guess, kind of just looks like a block of flats. Um, oh, cool, they have a name for the, regi for the legion. Rabbits and Prima Legion. Nice, cool. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, okay. 72 occupants, Jesus. Although that is the four. Like, if it's by itself, it's less, like these people have. So, oh, fuck, for one house, there's 17 occupants? That's surprising to me. Anywho, oh wow, they've started to stockpile wheat in here. We don't want that to happen. Just keep it. Because we don't want to fill up the warehouse with wheat. There's no point. Like, if there's nowhere to put it, we don't need it. Okay! 
Right, so, anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, we've been playing a while. Well, I've been playing a while. You've been watching a while. Lazy bastard. <laughs> anyway, put it in the granary. Gabagool. I could start saying just slightly racist Italian things. Okay. But yeah, before before I go, I do want to do a bit of violence. And since no one's attacking me, even though the, um, the, apparently there were many invasions likely, but this is the least attacks I've ever seen. So I'm just going to send my guys to go fuck up these guys. Just go fuck, just go murder them for no reason. You know, let's just go do a roam. You know? No, go over here. Can you not get over here? What? What's your problem, dick? Oh, I have to cl left click. Okay. Right, so we're going to form up our guys on the hill. I'm going to go murder these people. I hope they are the enemy and not just some guys, because that'll be really bad. Um, if this goes well, good. If not, I'm quitting soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, do, I love this game so much, I just wanted to play it on the channel, um, and you can see why I'd like it, it's a lot like a very violent city, well, just a kind of more fun city skylines, right, they're protected by forest, but not anymore, dicks, murder them, let's go fuck people up, fuck them up, why can't I fuck them up, F fuck them up, can I not be the instigator of violence? And what's the point of being Rome? Oh. Well, there is occasionally <laughs> some fighting, but apparently not today. Um, so, that's a bit sad. We're going to get our guys back to the thing. But yeah, if you'd like to see more of this game, I'll be happy to do a full fucking Let's Play. This could be what replaces City Skylines. There's more to do than in City Skylines. Like war. Not very well described by this episode. Oh. Landslides? Just hope that it doesn't happen here. The messenger who brought us this news talked of terrible damage. There have been massive landslides which have cut off the route of some land merchants. It will take several months before the route is open and the merchants can get through again. Shit. Which what? These guys? Am I not going to get any trade? We're going to lose some money. Fuck, dude. Hopefully we've got enough to survive. But yeah, anyway, that is Caesar 3. If you want to see more, like I said, leave a like, leave a comment. Do all the things that I rarely ask you to do. Um, <laughs> I could totally replace City Skylines with this. Like, there'd be stabbing. There'd be uh, horse stabbing. There'd be better trained guys stabbing people. There'd be trade. It'd be great. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Caesar 3. It is available on Steam. A little janky. But hmm, check it out if you like this kind of stuff. And if you played this as a kid, tell me in the comments. I'm interested if this was an obscure game or not. It can't be that obscure. It's on Steam. Anyway, yeah, so, this has been Caesar 3. I'll see you next time. <laughs>